and it's my great pleasure to welcome toward you this year's honorary degree recipient. I cannot tell you what a pleasure it is to uh, to be up here tonight. What an honor it is, really, to be receiving an honorary degree in applied arts. As much as I'm a big believer and supporter in the value of a classical liberal education and a whole idea of expanding your mind, fomenting new ideas, there is a particular joy for me in an applied degree, since it's one that's firmly rooted in facts. And these days, I think we could all benefit from being a little more rooted in facts. It's difficult to imagine a much more volatile time than we're seeing these days, not just in the relationships that we have citizen to citizen, but friend to friend and sometimes even family member to family member. Politics in this country, and even more so in the United States, has long been a subject of robust debate at our dinner tables, but it's only recently that it started to become a reason not to be invited to dinner altogether. <laughs> Witness the emotional toll of, on some people of last week's Alberta election. And that's to say nothing of our neighbors to the south. The media, which I've always been so proud to be part of, and which used to serve as the gathering place for ideas and for understanding, is now at the apex of this growing divide that we see in society. The internet has leveled the playing field for distribution of messages. It's allowed every opinion to be represented as fact. And the more outrageous and less conciliatory that opinion, the more it gets amplified by social media. It's important for folks to understand that those who get a large portion of their news from social media are actually getting it from algorithms that exist primarily to maximize your time on Twitter or on Facebook. And as a result, it means they allow only limited exposure to views that don't match your own. Those social streams keep telegraphing your viewpoint right back at you, reinforcing stereotypes and stifling diverse perspectives. The ability to find educated, well-researched, fact-based content is becoming a bigger challenge, which is why the work of journalists like Quinn Older is so gosh darn important. Quinn makes facts more important than opinion by connecting those facts every day to the people she serves in the community of Edmonton. The need for trusted sources of facts is why I so loved an ad campaign last year that simply showed us a picture of an apple. That campaign showed us an apple and reminded us that no matter how much someone tried to claim that apple was a banana, that even if they screamed at us in all caps that it was a banana, that the fact was it was an apple. That campaign was for CNN, and it was led by the wonderful Rick Luchuk, who was being very deservedly recognized. It is a tribute to this institution that the education in facts that you provided to us, your alumni, that we, your students, remain committed to continuing to provide that education in facts to better serve the broader public. And these days, as I say, they could use it. I am so honored to be here tonight, and there is no way I could be here without the incredible support of so many people who I've worked with at Global News, without the incredible safety net that was set for me, the confidence that was built under me by my parents, Jim Reeb and Donna Reeb, who are sitting over here, who sent me off on my way at 16 years old from Westlock down here to Lethbridge. Without the ever important counsel of my longest and most loyal friend, my brother Scott, who's here with his wife, Leanne. And most importantly, with my partner in life, Maureen. Congratulations to all of the honorees tonight, and thank you very much for this incredible honor.